All right, students. So let's move on to the next one, which is data definition language commands in SQL. Let me take you guys back to the same example that we were discussing. That is creating a database of your wardrobe. The first thing that you need to do is to ensure that you give attributes to every cloth. For example, attributes like name, category, color, age, and whether they're bought or gifted. So the first thing that you need to do is to create the attributes. That is create columns of those attributes. So create is our first data definition language command. There are others as well. For example, if I do not want a certain column, I can drop it out from the table. I want to change the name or the data type or any other thing about a certain column, I can alter the column. And if I completely want to renovate the entire data set and we are going for the entire renovation of our wardrobe, then we can actually delete the entire database and that is called as truncate. These four combine and give me data definition language commands. Let's see them one by one. For example, if I take uh, again the same thing, create, you are creating the database of our wardrobe. The first thing that we need to give is name, which are your name, category, place from where you uh, bought the cloth, age of the cloth and whether they are bought or gifted. The next thing that you want to do is to define the data type. What kind of data type will it be? Will it be a text data type? Will it be a numerical data type? For example, if you look at name over here, name will be textual entry. Name will be a textual entry, it will be a string. That is, it will be textual. Now, category will also be text. Place will also be text, but age over here is a numeric data type, right? BNG will be called something as a Boolean, right? That is something which is either B or G, something like whether it's true or false. There are only two entries over here. Now, apart from these two, we can give other inputs as well, which we will move on to once we actually use create command on SQL, right? My SQL database. And once you do this, you have your table in place. This is the creation of the table. The next, as we know, is drop. We don't like a certain column. We don't want this column to be in our database. We change our mind. We can definitely, you know, drop that column out of our database. The next DDL command is alter. If you want to change the name of a certain uh, column or something else, for example, I don't like this name place over here. I want to change it to, let's say, the store from where I bought it from. I can do that with alter. With alter, I can also add columns as well. For example, if I want to add another column, let's say location from where I bought it from, I can put it over there as well. I can add that particular column to my database. And finally, if we want to go for, you know, entire change of the database, that is, we don't want this database to go for, we'll actually truncate the entire database and restart, you know, building the database again. So these are the four data definition language command. Please make a note that till now I have just talked about columns over here, right? That is with DDL commands, we are only looking at making entries or changing or adding something in column. That is the entire discussion was completely based on column level right now. Now let's move on to adding data to our databases.